Hey guys, Rest Samra here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do something like this. Alright guys, so as you saw there in that little video clip, um, basically I didn't, I didn't have to keyframe all those, um, beats, uh, for the uh, picture to pump there, or video, you could do, um, this video, this is meant for video. But I'm just doing it with the picture just for the sake of the tutorial. So yeah, that that clip you just saw there, uh, I didn't have to keyframe anything. I actually used that, uh, an effect that I'm going to be teaching you guys to automatically uh, detect the beat. Uh, bass, you know, like the beats in the bass. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, every time um, you need a song with a thick bass line um, so that After Effects can detect it easily. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be teaching you right now. And to get started, you're going to want a song. So yeah, I actually brought my song in here into two files, uh, one and two. One is the build up to the drop, and then two is the drop, cause um, we're gonna be as you saw in that clip there, we're gonna be working with only the drop. Uh, I like it that way. So yeah, after that, you're gonna want a picture or a video. Mainly, you're probably gonna be using a pic, uh, a video, but I'm just using a picture just so everything is quicker for the tutorial, and I have caps lock on. All right, guys. So here I pulled in this picture. I actually made this picture, by the way. I took a red picture of Akuma, and I just changed color to red, I mean, um, blue. So yeah, guys. So now, what you're going to want to do is, see this, uh, number two is the drop. You're going to want to, in the effects and presets, you're going to want to search bass, and then this effect called bass of trouble should come up. You're going to want to drag that right onto number two, and then you're going to want to drag up the bass all the way, and put down the treble. And yeah, if you guys were to listen to it right now, it would sound pretty muffled, so here, I'll play for you. Alright guys, so as you saw there, that sound was pretty muffled. And yeah, it didn't really sound very good, but uh, don't worry, the song is not going to end up sounding like, sound like that. So yeah, once you've applied the effect, you're going to want to right click on number 2, go to keyframe assistant, and go to convert audio to keyframes. So what this uh, this does is it uh, it creates a slider, as in yeah it detects the beats and it makes a slider for every time the beat goes up bass wise and then for every time it comes down. So you, you can just delete the left and right channels here. So yeah now down here you're gonna press U to bring up this uh, final slider and as you can see guys as I scroll through the number um, the number right here it changes as I scroll through because. Every time the bass goes up, it goes higher and stuff like that. But this number is actually too high for us. And if we do it this way, it'll end up looking very bad. So what you're going to want to do is all click the stopwatch. So hold all and then click the stopwatch. And you're going to want to click graph editor. Now in here, I'll show you the, uh, the thing you have to type. So you're going to want to type in linear, linear, open bracket. You're going to type in value, comma. And then you're gonna want to look through your beats, and I actually found the number for mine already. So as you can see, guys, this is this is all in units, and these high points right here is the um uh, is the B. I mean, like the base. So you're gonna want to find like a low um each one of these spikes. You're gonna want to find the low point of a spike and the high point of it. So to me, it looks like it's around here. And yeah, I already have these written down because I tried. Uh, I always did, as you saw, did it on the same song. So yeah, uh, so as you can see, these are the spikes, and for my song, it seems like the numbers that are right is um, 81, which is the low point, so it's around like here, and then 90 is the high point, because see, this goes to 89, 86, you know, it all like stays around there. Actually, I think I'll do 89, yeah, so we're going to do 81, is which is the low point, and then 89. Now, you're going to want to... Um, so you're gonna want to see the size so this is I'm pretty sure the size is in 100 yeah yeah it is so this size is in 100 so you're gonna wanna oh no it's on like 98 I think I don't know yeah so 98 is where um it's currently at and then you're gonna want to put in how much you want it to zoom in so I'll put around 110 alright so what that means is that everything from 81 to 89 will zoom in from 98 to 110 so if it starts, if it hits the 81 point, it'll zoom into, I mean, it'll start going up from 98, and as soon as it hits 90, 89, it'll stop at 110. So I hope that 
made sense for you guys, but whatever. You're gonna wanna click away. And now we've modified uh, modified our slider for it to change only when the base drops. So let me scroll. Yeah, see, so it sticks at 98. And then see, that that's a base spike. So it goes, uh, the number goes up. So now what we're gonna wanna do is uh, press S on our picture or video and hold alt beside the scale stopwatch and then you're gonna wanna see this uh, you'll see a pick whip tool come in you're gonna wanna drag that and put it right on top of the slider so yeah guys you're pretty much done now and one last step do not forget this uh, before we view it you're gonna wanna turn off the effect don't worry this wouldn't change anything after we've um, went to keyframe assistant this stays the same this won't change with the music so yeah you can just delete that effect actually I'll just delete it Alright, so now guys, uh, let me render, th and as you can see, see these parts that are not rendered? Those, uh, are the base bikes, so, let me just render, uh, do a ramp preview, and hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Alright guys, so that turned out pretty good and I hope you guys uh, found that easy for you. If you have any questions, make sure to uh, leave them in the comment section below. I will definitely uh, reply to them. So yeah guys, Rest Samra here, signing out. See ya.